show you once again flume it is made up of three components as we have discussed in the last session source channel and sink okay the source is going to contain the information of the external source from which the flume application is trying to pull the data from and the sink is the target system to where the data has to be written by the flume mm, and channel is going to be the intermediate storage you know before the data getting delivered into the sink and this is going to be the critical component or the it is going to play the main role in flume configurations because the data gets staged here if in case of any failures so if this goes down so entire flume application goes down and the main thing is we are going to lose the data this is what we are going to face the problem in case of the crash of the channels now in this session let us try to uh, understand the integration of flume with spark flume and spark okay so this integration is going to be very simple so flume uh, as we have discussed is going to contain source channel and sync this will make up a flume application and what about spark so spark will have a receiver and processing okay uh, flume this is flume this is spark now uh, how this is going to receive the data flume of spark application uh, will try to receive the data from the flume okay so here the data must be sent to flume flume has to receive the data for spark has to receive the data from the flume application how it is going to be done okay let's try to understand that so here uh, for the flume application if it wants to send the data to okay so who is going to actually uh, become the last component in these three components that is sync will be the last component this is the order of the components actually that is going to that are going to be executed internally first source followed by channel and then followed by sync now if some you know if a flume application has to send the data to remember that if a flume application has to send the data to any other application it can be some spark application or kafka application or another flume application or any application that is i'm repeating the statement here if a flume application has to send the data to another application you know generally what is the sync here the sync is nothing but the destination storage point okay storage point so some storage point it can be hdfs or high storage space or some storage point can be there instead of storage point now it, it has to the application has to send the data to another application it is not a storage point now not a storage point in a state it is an application to which the flume application has to send the data to this is one application this is another application in that case though the source can be anything the source can be what it can be channel can be anything but when the flume application has to send the data to another application then there must be the sync type of sync has to be avro the type of sync has to be avro if you have gone through uh, the videos then you would uh, understood different types of sources different types of channels and different types of sinks that is uh, the types of all the sources channels and sinks the flume supports now if the flume application has to send the data to any other application the type of sync has to be avro the type of sync has to be avro okay let me explain more in uh, the depth of it okay uh, before that let me show you that configuration of flume how that will be let, let me show you that flume files flume spark kafka flume spark this is the configuration this is the creation of components and uh, this is a conf source configuration uh, channel configuration and sync configuration the session that get and local host 
and uh, this is the sync configuration so what is it happening here actually so this sync is uh, the type of sync has to be avro if the application has to send the data to some another application so this is going to be the type of sync avro the type of sync has to be avro i will tell you what is the pro, uh, you know that we are going to do with avro and look the host name and port number so here we have passed the three arguments uh, three properties we have configured here one is type uh, another is host name and one more is port number and the type of channel is flume channel it's fine uh, now let me just explain you about this see this let's say the flume application is running on host 1 and uh, another application is running on host 2 and this is another application running let's say the flume application okay uh, let's say it is uh, spark application so here it has to be configured with source channel and sync this type of sync has to be avro and we need to pass some host name and port number okay and uh, here what is the host name which host name we have to pass and port number the host name must be equal to h2 this is okay it is not the host name of this server the host name of this server okay and port number the port number at which this application is running okay so let us say some one two three four five so host name and port number one two three four five and similarly this application has to run at this port number the application has to run this port number the meaning of this is the flume application is trying to send the data to another application in avro format that's the first thing this flume application is trying to send the data to another application whether it can be spark it can be flume application also remember or it can be a uh, Kafka application also. So any application. So the application, uh, in order to send the data to another application, it will choose Avro data format and to which on which host this application is running and what is the port number at which the application is running. So these are three things that we need to provide, three properties we need to configure in the flow. And similarly, on the opposite side, on the other side, even this application, whatever the application, Spark, Flume, or Kafka, these applications must run at this port number. At this port number. So this application, Spark application, or whatever application, should read the data from Avro, Avro, Avro format. Okay, should read data, should be able to read data from Avro format. And that application has to run at this port number. In this case, it is one two three four five. And obviously, it is running on the host H2. Yes, okay, this is what. So it has to send. It will send, and it has to understand. It has to understand, read the data from Avro format, and it's the same port number and the host number. This is what. The basic, you know, configuration. So after receiving the data, what is the business logic we are trying to implement here? That depends upon us but this is the basic configuration here so flume and spark okay just let me show you this flume and let me show you that spark and they will be so this is the flume configuration file okay this is the flume configuration file flume source flume channel and flume sync let me just explain uh, let me show you the uh, practicals of this Later, I will try to explain, um, you know, why the format has to be Avro and why it has to be something like that. Okay. So, is this clear? Any questions in this configuration? Please let me know. This is uh, this is application is receiving the data from external source. Okay. It is receiving the data from external source. and uh, the data is being buffered or staged in uh, the memory 
and it is sending the application sorry it is also sending the data to another application which is running at this port number 7777 yes clear